Okay, so you've leaned down, you look good, you feel good, but now you wanna start adding some muscle. So before you start jumping into a full-blown bulking strategy, let's walk through a reverse dieting process to start adding muscle the right way. My name is Josiah Novak. I own a company called The True Transformation, and today we're gonna to talk about reverse dieting for building muscle. Let's jump into five key things you should be doing inside of your reverse dieting strategy. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to understand is that just because you're starting to add muscle and you wanna add size, doesn't mean you should stop being mindful of how much food you're putting in your body. So one of the biggest mistakes I see people make with a reverse diet is they just start eating whatever. They start throwing all sorts of calories into their meal plan with no regard for how much they're eating or what they're eating. So just going into it, have the mindset that, hey, I'm gonna take this serious. I'm not gonna add a bunch of unnecessary fat. I'm gonna do this the right way and slowly add muscle. So we wanna to get to maintenance calories as fast as we can. The fastest way to do that is more than likely bumping up your calories by about 500 calories a day or around 3000 calories per week, depending on how you track your food. So this is going to get your body back to a place where it feels really healthy. You're gonna see workout intensity increase pretty dramatically. You're gonna feel really strong in the gym. You don't need to reverse your calories at a snail's pace. A lot of people say, you know, add 50 calories a day, you know, go up by 1% every week. That's just way too slow. Once you're super lean, you can get back to maintenance pretty quick. The fastest way to know whether you're at maintenance is just by tracking the scale. So initially when you add more food in, your scale is gonna go up. So allow some time for it to normalize. This is more than likely just water weight and glycogen being stored in the muscle from things like carbs, some extra uh, sugar that gets broken down from those carbs. Don't stress that extra weight. Just stick to the process, monitor the scale. By the time a couple weeks goes by, your weight should normalize. And then you'll just wanna be tracking it on a daily basis to make sure you don't see any crazy spikes in weight week to week. Hey, so if you found this video helpful so far, if you don't mind just hitting subscribe, that would be awesome. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you've ever tried reverse dieting before, or if you're just focused on fat loss or muscle building right now, let me know in the comments and let's go to the next tip. So one thing you definitely don't wanna do when it comes to reverse dieting, especially coming off of a fat loss phase, is you don't wanna stop your movement protocol. So if you've been doing any kind of cardio routine, our clients tend to track their steps. We usually aim for 10 to 12,000 steps per day. The last thing you wanna do is stop that. That's gonna give your body a lot of opportunity to start adding fat, which is not what we want. So I would keep your movement protocol at a sustainable level. So that might look like eight to 10,000 steps a day, Maybe it's three to four cardio sessions a week, depending on what your style is and what you came out of. So always go based off what you were doing and just take away a little bit to make it more sustainable. So in terms of adding carbs and fats back into your nutrition plan, because more than likely if you were in a fat loss phase, you were minimizing one or the other or a little bit of both and your calories were lower. And so now you wanna start getting more of those fuel sources back in your body. The rotation I like to utilize is just the carb fat rotation. That's what I call it. So as you start to reverse diet, you're gonna notice that you're probably not as sharp as you were inside of your fat loss phase, meaning your physique could start to look a little more bloated or just watery and just wanna give you a heads up, this is totally normal. When you're in a fat loss phase, you're more than likely burning through your stored glycogen, right? So the carbs and sugar that get stored in your muscle. So you naturally look a little sharper because you're carrying less water weight. As you reverse diet, that water weight is gonna come back in many cases. And you're gonna see that the lines that you saw before may start to blur a little bit. Don't panic. We're gonna track our weight, make sure we're not gaining weight too fast. Uh, no more than probably half a pound a week at most. We're gonna make sure that we're taking pictures on a regular basis so that we can clearly see what's going on. But this is just a normal part of the process when you're trying to add significant amount of muscle and you know staying shredded year round, unless it's part of your marketing scheme or you know what you have to do in terms of how you stay in athletic shape, don't worry about losing some of that definition, it's temporary. So here's the thing though, if you do start to notice you're gaining too much fat, right? So you take progress pictures and you're like, yeah, I'm not happy with what I'm seeing here. I need to sharpen up a little bit. Or maybe you have something coming up like a trip or a vacation and you say, hey, I've gained a little bit of size, but I wanna slim down just a hair. You can always do a two week mini cut. This is where for two weeks, you go back into fat loss mode and you drop some of that water weight. You drop maybe a little bit of body fat that you had gained temporarily and you sharpen up a little bit. I always say if you're in a big time muscle building phase, maybe it's six months, eight months, 
every 12 weeks or so, I would throw in a mini cut just to keep yourself sharp, just to get a little bit of that rebound effect too, where you take away some calories, take away some carbs, and when you add them back in, the body fills out, you feel energized, you feel super strong, and uh, your workouts improve dramatically. So a mini cut is something you can throw in at any point in time if you feel like you need to sharpen up just a bit. Okay, as we wrap things up here, I just wanna caution you against dirty bulking. Unless you are a super hard gainer, meaning you eat everything under the sun and you just can't gain weight. In that case, you're gonna wanna eat a lot of calories and you might have to add some junk to get to the calorie level that you need to build muscle. But for most of us, including myself, the slow process where you're systematically increasing calories is going to work better because we, as normal people or even people who gain weight easily like me, we will gain fat very quickly if we're not careful. And the last thing you wanna do is to gain a bunch of body fat, not gain a whole lot of muscle and have to diet off the body fat over and over and over again. Instead, stay in a healthy body fat range. So for men, it's about 12 to maybe 16%. And, you know, with some ab definition, not full-blown shredded six-pack all the time, but enough to where you feel respectable about how you look, but ultimately not allowing yourself to gain a ton of weight, okay, a ton of body fat that you will ultimately have to diet down. Dirty bulking, eating whatever you want, throwing a bunch of junk in all the time, save that for the people who really struggle to gain weight, which is probably like 5 to 10% other people watching this video at most. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video on how to reverse diet to build muscle. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, drop a comment below. In the description of this video, I have some resources for you. Uh, you can check out the podcast where we cover topics like this amongst many other topics. And you can check out a free guide. I put a whole link to download some workouts, dumbbell workouts, that will help you build muscle very quickly. So if you wanna check that out, go to the description. The links are there. In the meantime, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Appreciate you in advance. Life moves fast. Make it count. Talk to you in the next one. Peace.